perfect square numbers. I cannot stress how important it is to know your perfect squares. Definitely 1 through 12, we should know those. That's from way back in your multiplication fact days. Remember the chart? You thought like after 12 times 12, the world stopped, like 144 was the biggest, but there's so many more. And so I encourage my students in my class to know the first 25 perfect squares. I'm gonna guide you through them today. And then you should know a few more that are nice ones like 40 squared, 50 squared, um, 60 squared, and so on. So I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks, a couple patterns, a couple cool things to notice about perfect squares. And then you wanna make sure that you know as many of these as you can. Um, it's gonna make your life way easier in Algebra 1 for sure. Let's take a look. Okay, one squared, that's easy. One squared is one, one times one is one, two times two is four, three times three is nine, Four times four is 16. Five times five is 25, right? So those are our first five. One, four, nine, 16, 25. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, next set. Six squared, six times six is 36. Seven squared, seven times seven is 49. Eight squared, eight times eight is 64. Nine squared, nine times nine is 81. 10 squared, 10 times 10 is 100, easy. 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. 11 squared, 11 times 11 is 121. 12 squared, 12 times 12 is 144. Now here's where they start to get a little bit interesting and new. So usually after the first 12, ready? Repeat them with me. One, four, nine, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144. Ha, ah, take a breath, those are your first 12. The next four kind of have a beat to them. They have a pattern to them. My students always think I'm so corny when I do these patterns and beats, but I just feel like it speaks to me. So 13 squared is 169. 14 squared is 196. So what's cool to remember about that is the last two digits just flip their order. So 169, 196. 15 squared is 225. Okay, so we have 169, 196, 225. And I'm going to scroll back up here. 16 squared is 256. Okay, so after the first 12, the next four go 169, 196, 225, 256. It sort of rhymes. Okay, bear with me. 17 squared is 289. 18 squared is 324. There's only two perfect squares in the 300s. It's 324, and then 19 squared is 361. 20 squared, that should be easy. What's 20 times 20? Well, two times two is four, and then you have two sets of zero, two zeros there. So 20 times 20 is 400. 21 squared, I absolutely love. I think this is so cool. So let me show you. 12 squared was 144. Well, 21 is just 12 reversed, right? So if 12 squared is 144, 21 squared is 441. So that's fun to remember. Uh, 22 squared is 484. 23 squared is 529. There's only two in the 500s. 24 squared is 576. And then 25 squared is 625. Okay, so after you have 169, 196, 225, 256, that's where we go to 289, 324, 361, 400. 441, 484, 529, 576, 625. And truly up to 25 squared is definitely a feat. It's important to know this going into algebra one. It's gonna make a lot of the problems way easier when you get into the second half of the year for sure. The last five that I wanna go through with you should be very easy to figure out. If 20 squared was 400, 30 squared, we'll think three times three, three times three is nine. So 30 squared is 900. So then 40 squared, four times four is 16. So 40 squared is 1600. 50 squared, five times five is 25. So 50 squared is 2500. 
60 squared, six times six is 36. So it's 3,600. And then 70 squared, seven times seven is 49. And it would be 4,900 and so on. The pattern would just continue. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.